Good morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome to our time of devotion. I am Reverend Barbara McPhee, and I am very glad that you could be here. Our call to worship. Holy Spirit, rain down on us. Let our souls drink your goodness. Let our hearts overflow. Holy Spirit, rain down on us. Our scripture today comes from John 14, verses 15 through 17. Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments, and I will ask God, and God will give you another advocate to help you and to be with you forever, the Spirit of truth. The world cannot accept her because it neither sees her nor knows her, but you will know her, for she lives with you and will be in you. Oftentimes, when we speak of the Holy Spirit, we speak of spiritual gifts. And we know that there are a variety of spiritual gifts, the gift of wisdom, knowledge, healing, teaching, are all some, some of those gifts, all empowered by the Spirit, who apportions each one individually as the Spirit wishes. But the gift I want to talk about today is the gift of presence. Have you notice the older you become how much more you value the gift of a person's presence instead of a tangible gift that is unwrapped i've heard many times someone say don't get me a gift instead let's spend some time together i remember my grandmother who lived in florida and the special times that we had when I was able to go and visit with her. Just come and visit, she would say. And I would go, and we had such a loving, special, fun time. She would, she would share with me all, all the family history that I learned. I was just so interested in it. Um, she would share me, share with me all kinds of, of stories about the history of our family. And it was just so interesting. And then we, we would just talk about all sorts of, of things. And, and <laughs> in the evening, um, after dinner, my grandfather would always, uh, pour a cognac and so, and he would join us for a cognac and then he would leave. And my mother, my mother, my grandmother would pour her and I another one. <laughs> and we'd, we'd just sit and talk and enjoy one another's company. And like I said, those were special times for her and, and me. It made a difference, the special time together. A difference to both of us. Talking and spending time with someone is the golden gift we are able to give and to receive from others. The Holy Spirit is also a gift of presence to us. The Holy Spirit is a gift that is given to us by God because God loves us and wants to spend time with us and does, in fact, spend time with us. The Holy Spirit is God's presence in our daily lives. We can talk to the Spirit, feel comforted and guided by the Spirit. It makes a difference in our lives to spend time with the Holy Spirit. Trevor Hudson in his book, Holy Spirit Here and Now, writes, when God gives us the Holy Spirit, God gives us nothing less than God's own self. It's important to think about that. Nothing less than God's own self. The Holy Spirit is a person, a someone to whom scripture says that we can cry out to, asking God to come and personally fill our lives. Hudson continues, the Holy Spirit draws us into a deeper shared life, changes us inwardly, guides us in our decision-making, helps us to pray, empowers us to witness, and so on. These are personal actions of the living God at work in our lives, right where we are. So think about that, how special it is, how much God loves us, 
that he blesses us with the Holy Spirit to be with us always. And once again, what we learn, having a relationship with God and with Jesus and the Holy Spirit, we learn about relationships and learning about them helps to make our human relationships stronger. And then we too can give that presence of ourselves to others, like I did with my grandmother, like so many people do, relatives and not relatives, friends, best friends people that are close to one another, give the presence. It's all you want. Sometimes it's all you want is someone to sit down and just talk and listen. It's a gift, the spirit, and the gift of presence. Our meditation, I have been blessed with the gift of the spirit. So relax, feet flat on the floor, hands in your lap or on the table. You breathe in. I have been blessed with the gift of the Spirit. I have been blessed with the gift of the Spirit. I have been blessed with the gift of the Spirit. I have been blessed with the gift of the Spirit. I have been blessed with the gift of the Spirit. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for the gift that you give us of yourself, that you as Trinity, God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, love us and guide us and teach us. You give us the presence of your Holy Spirit to be with us always. Always. A gift that's so invaluable. And we learn that gift from you. And we are able to give that to others to realize that it's important to spend time with one another, to hear one another, to be able to speak to one another, to, to be able to have such a close relationship with others. And of course, to have that relationship with you. Thank you, Lord for that golden gift of the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Someone who loves us, who we can talk to, who we can rely on. Dear God, we come to you in prayer today with our joys. We are, we are in overjoyed at many of the blessings you've given to us. Love and the gift of friendship. We thank you for calling us into different relationships, families and friends and relatives, um, people that we work with, church affiliation, uh, gyms and other places of recreation and exercise. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for our pets, our dogs and our cats, our birds and other animals. We thank you for the way you created this beautiful earth and all that is in it. 
it is such a delight when we can take time and look at it and engage it. Thank you, God. We ask your blessing on us, Lord, and your healing mercies for all who are sick, for all who have physical issues, medical issues, surgical issues, mental health issues. We ask your healing mercies for all who are dying or have lost loved ones or grieving or hurt. We pray your healing mercies for all who have mental health issues, Lord, for all who don't know how to love, for don't know how to live, don't know how to give or forgive or to receive. We pray, <clears throat> Lord God, your healing mercies. Oh God, we pray for we pray for the animals and the birds and the earth and the trees and all of life. We pray healing mercies on them as well. We pray, Lord God, for all in war-torn areas, in areas where there are fires or floods, for all of life, your mercies. God, we pray for all the people on our prayer list. We pray for all those people we don't know. Healing mercies, whatever issues they have. Dear God, we also pray traveling mercies. For all who travel, may they safely get to their destination. And we come now to pray the prayer that you have taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our thought for the week, once again from John Orthberg. Um, this one from the Me I Want to Be Becoming God's Best Version of You. He wrote this, Never worry alone. When anxiety grabs my mind, it is self-perpetuating. Worrisome thoughts reproduce faster than rabbits. So one of the most powerful ways to stop the spiral of worry is simply to disclose my worry to a friend. The simple act of reassurance from another human being becomes a tool of the spirit to cast out fear because peace and fear are both contagious. Our benediction, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. May you have a lovely, blessed week, and I'll see you next week. God bless.